り脇肩務めてくれよ無事上の空か捕らえたぜ続けるぜスクイエン無事よっ無事緩んでるぜごめんよおそばつアンジーはアプローチする人に行くことを選択する。Take advantage of his unique offense and control the pace of the match. Shitsu. A slow moving butterfly projectile that travels forward. It will float up on contact with the opponent, changing its trajectory. Due to its slow startup, it is best used when you have the advantage. Sui gets to know Hakobi. Anji moves forward while avoiding the opponent's attacks. The distance Anji travels increases the longer you hold the button down. If you parry a heavy attack with this, you can attack the opponent while they recover. Fujin. An attack where Anji strikes forward. It can be followed up with various follow up moves on hit or block. By holding the button, Anji will move forward before attacking. Similar to Sui Getsu no Hakobi, Anji can dodge incoming attacks when he's moving forward. Holding the button down until the end of the move boosts its attack properties. Shin Ichichiki. A follow up to Fujin where Anji jumps up and launches a projectile towards the ground. The startup may be slow, but it creates an opportunity to approach the opponent once out. Try using this against opponents who are watching for Nagiha or Rin. Isoku Tobi. A follow up to Fujin where Anji leaps forward. Use this move to take the opponent by surprise when they are concentrated on blocking. Nagiha. A follow up to Fujin where Anji performs a low sweep with a small opening. It is a low attack that cannot be blocked while standing. Its quick startup allows it to combo off a hit from Fujin. Reen. A follow up to Fujin where Anji performs an overhead attack that knocks the opponent down on hit. The opponent will not be able to block the move while crouching. You can keep your opponent guessing by following up the Fujin with either Nagiha or Reen. Ko. An attack Anji performs while leaping upward. By holding the button, Anji will move forward before attacking. Similar to Sui Getsu no Hakobi, Anji can dodge incoming attacks when he is moving forward. Holding the button down until the end of the move boosts its attack properties. This attack doesn't hit grounded opponents, so use it as an anti air or in combos. Issei Ogi Sai. A move where Anji releases a large fan shaped projectile that sweeps the area in front of him. When this move connects, the projectile will knock the opponent far away on the final hit. It will also cause an area shift on hit in the corner. Ka Chol Fu Getsu Kai. Anji performs a counter attack that reacts to an attack from the opponent. The move is invincible during the startup, and its property changes if the opponent is close to Anji when the counter attack lands, dealing massive damage. It will also cause an area shift on hit in the corner. Anji can approach the opponent while evading their offense by timing Sui Getsu no Hakobi with their attacks. If he parries a heavy attack, Anji can punish the opponent with an attack of his own. Once you have the opponent locked down with his poke, standing far slash, and Sui Getsu no Hakobi, try mixing them up with the follow up attacks from Fuji. After scoring a knockdown, take the chance to launch a powerful offense with Shitsu. Thank you for watching. All right, welcome back. So now we have Anji as our playable character.、Uh, if you are an old time Guilty Gear fan, this character is nothing new to you. But if you are like me and started with Exert,、uh, this character is a returning character from the Double X series. So for young blood like me,、uh, it's sort of a learning process on what this character does.、Uh, he's a very all rounder character, meaning that he's sort of like a jack of all trades. He has access to a lot of good tools.、Um, But it's actually a little bit tricky to play despite the all render,、um, what you would think from an all render character, right?、Uh, 
Uh, so he's got some very strong normals, uh, good defensive options, and mix-up tools. Uh, but he is a little bit slow, um, so he will take some practice to use. Uh, he has some very good long-range normals, multi-hitting normals, and a lot of his special moves give him guard point, which allows him to blow through the opponent's attacks. So, two special moves that Anji has are very core to his gameplay. The first being Shitsu, which is core triple forward and punch, or as it's more commonly known, the butterfly. So Anji will send out this slow-moving projectile that on hit changes its trajectory and turns into a hawk. So because this move startup is so slow, uh, you really want to use it when you have advantage over the opponent. So if you do something like land a throw, you can put a butterfly on the opponent and cause some pressure. You can do a sweep into it. And that gives Anji the opportunity to run up and go for a mix-up. So he has some very simple, easy to understand set play options where you can run forward and do overheads or lows or throws um, and your opponent has to respect. Uh, the other special move Anji has that is core to his gameplay is Fujin, which is a forward advancing special move done by doing core circle forward and heavy slash. So this special move is super fast, it has decent range, um, but it is actually unsafe on block, meaning that Anji is going to have to cancel into one of its four follow-ups to keep himself safe and keep the opponent on their toes. The four follow-ups in order go from punch to heavy slash, so we're going to start from weakest and go to the strongest in terms of button strength. Uh, Shin Ichisiki uh, is P after using Fujin, which sends Anji up into the air throwing down some projectiles. So this is a good tool to keep yourself safe while still keeping pressure on the opponent. It's going to avoid any of the opponent's low attacks, and when you land, you can follow up with more pressure. Uh, it's basically, if you catch your opponent sleeping or trying to hit a button, you can counter hit them with the P follow-up, and then go in for more offense afterwards. Once your opponent starts respecting your options at the Fujin, you can start mixing them up with the K follow-up, Isokotobi, which is an empty pop. So while this doesn't actually do any damage, it leaves, con uh, it leaves Anji at a state where he can go for a throw and some more pressure, he can just land and do more pressure with, with his normals. Uh, because it has so much startup on it, though, the opponent can mash and hit you out of this move. So you really want to go for it sparingly once they start respecting your other options. And you can sneak this in when they're not paying attention. If you want to keep things very safe, the S follow-up, Nakiha, is a quick low that combos after Fuji. So this is your basically your go-to combo ender with Anji. If you can combo into Fujin into the S follow-up, it causes a soft knockdown. You can run up and do more pressure. Or if the opponent is blocking, it's a great tool to just end the block string safely and return back to neutral since it's very difficult to punish. Both moves sort of push you away from the opponent, so they're going to have difficulty uh, punishing you for just ending in that move. Uh, the last overhead is sort of a partner to the S follow-up, which is Rin. It's the H follow-up which is a slow overhead. So like his kick follow-up, uh, it has some startup to it and you can be mashed out of it after using it. So it's another tool you want to use once the opponent is respecting you. Um, and it leads to a combo on hit and a massive combo on counter hit. So this move is unsafe on block, so you want to use it a little bit sparingly. But if you do catch the opponent sleeping with it, you can follow up with another combo, especially in the corner or if it counter hits with more offense afterwards. So a lot of Anji's pressure in, uh, is sort of similar to previous games, where you have you can stagger into your different follow-ups and keep the opponent guessing as to what you're going to be doing. And then you want to mix up your low and your overhead. And it's um, very easy to understand the pressure with very strong options if you manage to make them block your Fujin. His final two special moves, which you also saw in the trailer, are Ko, which is sort of an anti-air leap. So you'll notice it doesn't hit the opponent on the ground, so it's a move that you want to do as a combo ender. So it causes a hard knockdown uh, on hit, so if you end your combos with this move, you get to run in and start even more offense on the opponent. So you'll see this used as a anti-air or a air combo ender from the ground to cause a hard knockdown and continue your offense. Uh, the final move he has is Suigetsu no Hakuobi, which is done with core circle forward and kick. 
So while this is actually not an attack, it's sort of a dodge. The whole time that Anji is uh, moving forward, he will guard point the enemy's attacks while progressing forward. And afterwards, you're free to go for a throw, go for some normals. Let me actually set Eno to attack so you can see the guard point. Uh, let's do counter attack. And let's... Actually, like I said, it's attack. Oh, it's been a minute since I've gone through these settings. Let's do on block standing. Make her block everything. There we go. So she's going to attack now after we hit her with a normal. So using this move lets you guard point through the opponent's attacks. So if you think the opponent's going to reversal or just mash out of your pressure, or even just a neutral if you expect they're going to hit a long recovery button, you can use this move to blow through it and counterattack them for trying to hit a button. You can't actually cancel off of hitting the guard point either. So it's not exactly the same as like Potemkin's guard point on Hammerfall. Once you... It's, it's sort of treated like a whiff if they hit you during this move, meaning they're stuck in that long recovery, and you can actually punish them with a throw for those long recovery moves. Uh, that actually is a property that's attached to two of the other special moves as well. If you hold down the input for Fujin, the startup is slower, but Anji will do the same animation as uh, his other guard point move and block attacks while, during the startup of Fujin. Whoa. The trick timing can be a little tricky, this, but that is a property that's on Fujin as well as his anti-air ender. Both can be held to increase the startup but add guard point to the beginning. So he can really alter the timing of his attacks and blow through the opponent's attacks if they're being too predictable on their offense. For his super, he has Issei Ogi Sai. It's a multi-hitting projectile super that is used to end combos. It does a lot of damage, uh, and you can use it to blow through the wall in the corner and cause a hard knockdown if you can hit them. Oh, it's not close. And that might not come. I'm not a non-G player, if it's not evident enough. which gives you time to run up and do more offense. So you want to use this at the end of big combos since it's going to tackle a lot of extra damage. Uh, just like Eno, uh, Anji has one more super that unfortunately is not ready yet, so I won't be able to show it to you today. But we'll be showing off more gameplay of Eno and Anji in the next few weeks, so just stay tuned for more of the last two characters on the roster. Uh, I'm really excited for you guys to see what these characters can do in practice. Um, with someone who has more experience with them than I. Uh, so thank you for joining us. I know we started a little bit late, so uh, thank you for sticking around. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the interview with Akira-san and the showcase of the special moves that these characters have in Guilty Gear Strive. For characters, uh, specialists who are coming from the old games, there's going to be a lot of new things you'll need to learn to master these characters. Uh, but at the same time, a lot of their toolkit will look familiar if you played the Exert or Double X series before. So with that, I'm going to sign off. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today, and we'll catch you hopefully in the next open beta.